Hi everyone, this is Amy or Little Surprises YT and today I'm going to be talking to you about um, this card holder that I made that is a koi pond or onsen inspired card holder. It does glow in the dark, the water glows in the dark and I will have tons of progress videos and pictures throughout the video. I'll mainly be speaking to you about how I made this card holder the way I did and inserting more photos so you can see more details. So I bought the card holder from the 99 cent store. It's this black netted thing that you see right here. And I covered it with oven baked clay. After I covered it with oven baked clay, I textured it with a dotting tool and then painted it gray, white, and black. So as you can see here, it's totally decorated with paint. Um, I use acrylic paint. And uh, oven baked clay is basically clay that hardens when you bake it. Um, I used a Sculpey oven baked clay that was completely white. I bought it from Walmart a few years ago for like four or five dollars. Um, but you can also use polymer clay if you'd like. Uh, and you can see little pebbles on top that is made from granite Sculpey 3 polymer clay. Um, and now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I made the rest. So I covered the fence portion also with oven baked clay and the top with more oven baked clay for the grass or the moss on top and then I painted it. Now here you'll see that I turned pink after I baked it so I just repainted it. Um, if you have any questions about that just leave a comment down below. And this is what it looks like after it's all painted. As you can see the fence is a mixture of orange, beige, yellow, and white and I tried to texture the in-between planks, um, made it a little darker in between so you could see the separations. Now, I did bake this in sections. So what I mean is I baked the pond portion first and then I baked the fence portion after and then the green portion after that. You can rebake clay as long as you do it in increments of like 10 minutes. You don't want to be baking it for like 30 minutes each and every time. Um, but as you can see, I painted it and decorated it. I try to make it look as natural as possible. So using different reds, oranges, and yellows um, and mixing that together uh, gives it a more realistic look and now I'm going to be talking to you about how I decorated the pond portion so um, as you can see here I painted the top with green and whites again just to make it look more realistic um, so I used dark green green white and light green metallic green just to kind of give it um, more texture and color and I also added in this little flower crystal um, that I got from Sophie and Toffee I believe so as you can see this is what my grass looks looks like on top. Um, I've seen this on onsens before so I thought I'd add that in. Now I'm going to talk to you about how I decorated the pond portion. So I used UV resin, rhinestones, and star sand mainly. And every single layer that I added with UV resin, I cured it with a UV light. If you don't have a UV light or a UV lamp, you can use direct sunlight. And I also added in a layer of glow in the dark powder into the UV resin to give it the glow, the glow in the dark effect. So here you can see I added in some star sands in little portions or segments um, just so that it looked a little scattered. And then I added in the pearl rhinestones that I had. These rhinestones I got from Sophie and Toffee a few years back. I'm pretty sure they still have it on their website. And this is just to show you what the rhinestones look like. These gems I got from Japan. And like I said, I just kind of scattered them around the pond to give it a more realistic look. I clustered them a little bit. And then I added in my fish and decorated them. And this is what it looks like. Um, glowing in the dark. It was very hard to capture this on video so I just have a lot of photos to show you. The glow in the dark powder I got from AliExpress but you can get it on eBay and I think another popular um, glow in the dark powder store is like Glow Mania USA or Solar Dust so you guys should definitely check those out. I'm not sponsored or anything it's just those are websites I definitely know. Um, so now I'm just gonna slowly show you um, this piece like bird's eye view and then close up because I really really enjoyed making this piece. I think this took about 8 to 10 hours in total just in between me baking it, glazing it, adding details and eating and watching videos. I like to watch videos while I make these creations but as you can see I clustered these stars or um, in like segments so that it wasn't like all over the ground so that you couldn't see the like water anymore um, and then I obviously added in the gems and rhinestones um, just to kind of give it a, a more complex look but still make it look simple. I don't know if I'm making sense but I really want it to look like a lot was going on but it wasn't too overpowering. 
Um, as you can see, I did use some nail seashell decals and uh, the gems, I love the gems. Like I said, these gems are from Japan, um, but I'm sure you can get them in like Michael's or Joann's. If not, Etsy is probably the next be best place to look. And here is a closer look at some of the fish. Now, I used a variety of fish metal charms that I got from Japan as well. Um, these, gem uh, these fish charms I actually bought online in Japan. And I also made some resin koi fish that you see right here. Uh, the ones with the yellow, I'm sorry, the orange, white, and black spots on them I made from resin. And I really like how those turned out too. I'm not really familiar with using like a double mold yet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's where you pour resin into the mold and then pour resin into a second mold and then push them together. So I'm not completely familiar how to use that yet, so it might not look that nice. Um, and if you want more information on that, I'd be more than happy to make a video in the future. But this is pretty much what the entire pond looks like. And uh, it fits about 100 business cards, I would say. And I really love how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any recommendations of what kind of videos you want to see from me, please leave a comment down below. Thanks. Bye.